Hey guys, what's going on? It's Matt here for my first video, and today I'm going to be playing Forza Horizon 3. It's a really fun game. I recommend it to anyone who likes cars, and right now I am driving a Koenigsegg 1 to 1. I'm a Koenigsegg person, and this game is really fun, and it's really exciting for this to be my fir uh, first video. So, I'm going to be just driving this around while I'm talking about how my YouTube channel is going to go. So, I upload once a week, and uh, they are not really going to be organized, like, in a, on a specific day. But, it'll definitely be once a week. So, there might be a lot of background noises. I'm really sorry for that. And the quality of the video isn't that good. I'm going to straight up say... I'm recording on my phone, and it's not really the best. Um, tell me down in the comments section how to do, or how to record a video on the Xbox One S, and, or tell me how to do, a, eh, how to record a video on the Xbox One S, so I can just, so I can record better videos for you guys. So, there's different classes. There's X-Class, which this is right now. There's S2, and there's S1. Each class, and there's more classes than that, and that but, they're, and the, but they're lower than X, S2, and S1 class. Uh, so, each class determines your speed and stuff. And there's AI, like, there's this type of AI where you can challenge it. It'll say easy, medium, or hard obviously if you could see what i'm in i definitely win so that's why it says easy but there's also ais that are just normally driving around and just they're there to make the game feel more realistic and there's a lot of little glitches and stuff like that that you can you can do like right there as i passed the bridge there was a glitch that if you go super fast from the other side, then you can, then you can uh, uh, just ride in between them, and you'll be like basically hovering on one side, and then you'll do like a flip or something at at the end. So there's different places on the map that you can go to, and it's really cool. And the lighting, the lighting is so amazing. There's different like weather scenarios and things like that. There's also races as I just passed one on the on the right and you can get credits and XP from that. I'll explain more about that later, but there's this game is really fun. I'm probably boring the heck out of the people who actually play Forza Horizon 3, but as you see I can go into the Outback. This this is set in the um how do I say it? Um, the south, uh, the south east corner of Australia. So there's also festivals and things that you can go to to change your car and do upgrades and anything like that. So I'm just gonna head over there and. I'll explain more about how you do everything in there. You can auction cars off and buy cars and do auctions and things like that. So, um, over here is a is more of an, like an area, more of an area where where um where there's like a little tiny town and right. If over to the left is a canyon where you can uh, do, where you can uh, go off roading and things like that. Um, jeez, oh my gosh. Um, why is there so many cars? Um, so there's a lot of really fun things you can do. Uh, over here, there's some sand dunes. That are really cool that like if you get enough speed you can jump over and do some pretty cool stunts and things like that. 
Uh, what else about this game? Oh yeah, there's there's this train that comes around. It's really not much. Um, there's a couple glitches that you can do with the train, where if you just ride on the tracks right before it, right before it hits you, and you press the pause menu, you can you can go flying off the map. Oh yeah, and a little fun fact about the train is that it goes about eighty miles per hour. So just uh, just if you want to beat the train, it's go it just goes eighty miles per hour, and it doesn't really change. Um, there's also a bunch of other cars. Oh yeah, you can change the views and things of the, your car. Um, you can look around. Um, I also like this other car. It's called the Plymouth Emmy Barracuda, and I'll actually go over there and show you how, like, what it looks like. You probably. And people that know cars and probably knows what it and what it looks like, but it's the 1971 version. So I'll go over to the th uh, to the auction house and I'll meet you guys over there. All right, guys, I'm here in the in the garage, and there's a bunch of things that you can do. There's upgrades, and if you go down to the left. Bottom left, there's a view all section that you can do. Uh, you can press to go and look in all the all the other cars and to look at all the other cars. There's a lot of cars you can like. There's any cars you can imagine. Oh, and the perks. I'll explain that later. But um, going through, there's like any cars you can imagine, and there's like Austin Martins, there's Bugattis, there's Audi R8s, and Anything really you can imagine. Uh, so I'll go over and grab the Plymouth. Uh, I have to sc scroll all the way over. That's really annoying. But right now I'll go grab that. Uh, I went too far. Um, oh, there it is. Uh, so I'll grab that. I I'll get in it. Uh, I upgraded this a lot to, I think it's S2 class. I'm not sure. Um, uh, so this is really cool. Uh, it likes to do a lot of burnouts. Oh, jeez, I hate running into the wall. Um, it likes to do burnouts a lot. Um... I also like drifting. There's a lot of drift cars and things like that. I'm not really a really good drift person, but I'm I'm learning, so don't judge me on my drifting. Uh there you can just go around the place. Oh, I hate bumping into the wall. You can go around the garage and just if you have a drift car you can practice drifting, but I'm not a ten star drift star, so like just don't judge me on that, please. So, uh, this is a really fun car. Uh, there's a lot of really fun cars. I'm probably saying it's a really fun car a lot of times. But, it really is. So, what I'm gonna do is head out here. Oh yeah, in the supercharger, which is not really a real supercharger on some vehicles. But, it moves and stuff. So, I'm gonna go out here. Um... Yeah, you can get skill points and things like that for whenever you do things. Uh, so, oh, there's a credit booster right there. Um, a credit booster is like an AI that gives you a lot more than racing a normal AI would. So if you go over to progress, you can go to the skill shop, which is where you get the perks. You can get a bunch of perks like the... Um, like, the drone perk, and the credit booster perk, and all these other perks uh, that you can win. And you can do, like, king matches and things like that. I'll explain more of that later. Um, there's skills and instant rewards. Skills is things that you can just, that you can uh, get during races. And then instant rewards is, like, a thing that you can get like you get automatically so uh there's the infected events oh and here's a 
here's the instant rewards. You can earn XP, credits, and all those things that will instantly help you out. There's wheel spins too, which you can get like when you level up. I'll show you how to do that in a in separate video. But you can level up and get a bunch of those things. Oh, there's a credit booster again. Um, so you can fast travel wherever you want on the map. There's these, there's little XP boards that you can smash to boost your XP to level up again. And then, uh, there's these green lightning shaped boards that can, that help you out to make the price of fast traveling lower. I think it's around 4,000 to start out, but then you can work your way down to zero. Uh, there's really fun tracks and places you can go. As you can see, there's a lot of festivals and places. So, uh, there's a lot of races, things like that. There's also this place called uh, Blizzard Mountain and the Hot Wheels uh, place where you can go do th those worlds. Oh, there's a credit booster again. This is a Lamborghini Murcielago SV. I don't think I would race. I'm not going to race it because... I mean, I don't know how my car would go up against it. Uh, so, there's places that you can go like that. You you obviously have to pay money for that to go do. So, I'm going to... I'm probably going to end the video soon. But I still have a couple more things to talk about. So, the King events are like these events that you can do in multiplayer or live multiplayer so you can do king you can do infected and you can do uh what's the other one there's king infected and flag rush they're all really fun games that you can play i'd recommend it if you have xbox if you have xbox gold if you have the new X, uh, newer xbox ones um i don't know if mm, if Forza Horizon 3 is good for the PS, uh, the PS4 and PS3 and things like that. But it's a really fun game. I recommend it to anyone. And I am actually recording this after I recorded the video. I know it was stupid. It wouldn't let me record my voice or something like that. But um, if you like the video... Comment and subscribe and like and things like that. Help out the channel grow and um, do all that good stuff. So, there's a lot of really fun things to do in this game. You can, uh, that's, it's just a really fun game. I recommend it to anyone. So, I, I am going to end it here and I'll see you guys later. Have a good day, and bye.